The Carfection team take any opportunity to get out on track and drive as fast as they can. Now, if they can be competitive about it, that's even better. No matter how weird and wonderful the vehicle, they are always up for some competition. But the problem is, with a wide variety of expertise and machinery, it's rarely a level playing field. So I had an idea for something we could all race that might even the odds. I made a few phone calls and asked Drew, Rory, Alex, George and Henry to meet me at the Rye House circuit where Lewis Hamilton cut his racing teeth to see what the team are made of. So Rich came up with this idea for something for us all to drive, something that I don't think any of us have driven before. And considering I never win at any races we ever do, uh, this might level the playing field a little bit. I'm nervous now. It seemed like a good idea, and I just thought we could have something where we get quite a selection of old Carfection and X car names together to, you know, pit our weights against each other. And it's not like I'm going to beat Henry in a proper race car. <laughs> so this whole thing has been orchestrated so you can beat Henry. Is that is that what this is about? <laughs> yes. yes. Excellent. I'm glad I've turned up to just be, just to be beaten, yeah, well, receive a beating. I love it. It's my favourite sort of day. Have you driven one of these before? I have not. Are you lying? I am not. Have you been practicing? Uh, mentally, but I've not set foot in one yet. I hope to God Henry wins, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, even, yeah, probably even though he hasn't seen what it is, he probably still wins. He can, he, Henry's likely to be able to drive it blindfold backwards and on fire faster than you can drive it forwards. I get the feeling whatever it is, I'm going to be horrendously disappointed. <laughs> that sounds bad. That sounds bad. Has an engine. It's a chainsaw. It has, an has, has an engine. The actual f is that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, driver. You just dented the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's an aero mod. Um, this is a Piaggio Arpe, or an ape if you're English. Um, this is uh, basically a Vespa scooter in delivery trousers and we're going to race them. Why, why has it got um, shopping trolley casters on it? I'll show you, I can give you a quick demonstration because there's... That's an externalized roll cage yeah. with, with shopping trolley wheels. It's an exoskeleton, that's what it is. But the point is, you're also good at your own motorsport thing, you've all got cool cars, and so I need to pick something. We're gonna find out who the best driver is. You need to pick something that none of you have done before. Did any of you have scooters when you were kids? No. no. Yeah. Right, so no, I walked. Win, Would it look nothing like this? It's, just, not, it's not a scooter. You mean your scooter <laughs> didn't have a load bed? <laughs> Alex, Where did Alex, you grow up? You've got a three-wheeler. You you have an advantage. You're the only one. Of, actually, I've got a, I've got a Sinclair C5. You okay, know well, those? That's got three wheels. If, for one, why? Two, my three-wheeler's got it the right way round. One wheel at the back with all of the power, two wheels at the front for both over and understeer in the same bend. All, all three wheelers are wrong, mate. That's where no. you're going wrong. Yes. What's powering this thing? It's hot. It's got a, a 120, 125cc oh, single cylinder engine with about 14 horsepower. From a brief fleeting moment, I thought you were going to say it's got 125 horsepower and I thought, yes, no! <laughs> there will be times, Alex, today where you will think 14 horsepower is too much for this thing. I don't want any more because you get to the, that first corner and you see, so it's, it's like a cross between sailing surfing and delivering uh, pizzas on a moped. Because it's an ape, yeah. which is the word for bee. Because it's industrious, you see, and it's, it's teamwork. And, and it, it sounds like a bee. It, it sounds like a bee. And if, if, if it stings you once, you die. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you'll fit in it. Well, no, I don't either. You're right, well, bye then. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Are your casters running on slicks or...? <laughs> Winter, they're all winter rubber. Okay, well, the track's just there. You've got a few more of these. I think it's time to go race. These things are deceptively complicated. There's a foot brake for the rear brakes, which seem to lock up. Front brakes are on the handlebars and are absolutely useless. There's a twist throttle on the right, clutch handle on the left with a twist for the gear change. The gear is being indicated by a piece of paper, which sometimes fall off. Okay, the format for today is we'll split up into teams of two, we'll do 10 minutes of qualifying with a driver switch in the middle, and then it's a Le Mans style start for a 40 minute race with as many driver changes as we want. Sound good? Okay. Okay, okay. you two, you'll be team tall. Yeah. Rich, you're on with me, team old, and you guys, <laughs> you're just left. We're team awesome. Team leftovers. Team yeah, awesome. that's gonna yeah, sound awesome. embarrassing when you come last. Confronted with a vehicle we'd never driven and a track we'd never visited, we somehow had to talk tactics and familiarise ourselves with the arcane controls before gearing up and trying to look like we knew what we were doing. And then, qualifying. There you go. 
On top of problems with just fitting in the damn things, some had more trouble than others getting started. I can't actually sit up straight. How do I start it? Which one? I still don't know how to change gear. A lot more trouble. Just leave it in gear, drop the clutch. Ready? Drop the clutch. I've stalled. No, I've stalled. Drew was making a mess of it, so I jumped in to show him how it's done. I'm trying to press the handle. Oh, God. Ow, ow. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I've broken it. With practice and qualifying out of the way, and still pretty much no idea what we were actually doing, it was time for a Le Mans style start on a 40 minute race. On your mark, get set, go! Go on, Rory! <laughs> Rory's ham fisted, clumsy, and incompetent start was still on reflection the best any of us could muster, and he quickly took the lead. Eventually, even a confused Henry Catchpole managed to get away, and the race was on. With too few wheels and more power than was sensible, the racing was fairly brutal. Despite a lack of seat belts and doors that would just not stay shut, everyone went for it. Even as the three wheelers turned into two wheelers, the challenge never ended. Rory and I found out, with a little bit of timing during practice, that actually you're about 10 seconds a lap quicker if you pit. So we've been pitting every five laps. One out lap, three proper laps and an in, which in theory over the course of the race should save us the thick end of the minute. It's a little bit cheeky, but we did ask and pitted laps count as a proper lap. So we haven't cheated, we've just used the full ability of the law to our advantage. Never mind what the rules say, Alex. You, sir, are a cheat. But despite cheating, when the chequered flag dropped, it was indeed Rory and Alex who had completed the most laps by the end of the race. Bastards. There is, as it would seem, such a thing as a bad winner. But trophy in hand, it was time to digest the day's racing. It had been an absolute hoot. So it was a little bit different than hopefully you expected. So I think, you know, well done. Car number two. Well done. Alex well done. and Rory. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah we've, we have established that. That, that, that you won. That, I think, that we're better than you. Yeah, I think it's worth pointing out though people. that we do now believe that Henry and George had a fault. Which one of you did it? Which one of you hobbled our, so our for, you know for, one, for one brief <laughs> moment, I believe that there was one vehicle that Henry Catchpole couldn't master. I want to know who nobbled your car. I intended to do it, never got round to it. I was having too much fun. <laughs> I, I don't know saying, what they well, did. They nobbled both work. cars as well because our yeah. practice one was nobbled. And then, <laughs> and then somebody obviously thought, oh no, they put them in a quick one, quick, quick, quick. I, do that I one as well. Not, I had a text from Rich last night saying, how do we nobble Catchpole? <laughs> The thing is, I never quite felt like I knew what I was doing enough. Each lap, I did it completely differently. It's like, do I use the brakes? Do I not use the brakes? And it felt like you could just plant it and keep going around, but you'd have to ride it on those casters, like really have it lent, and that was your way to scrub off speed. Yeah, but the noise that that created was unholy. It was, it was, it, it was, it was just awful. Uh, but it was really fun. It's the most fun motorsporting I've ever done. Because I'm rubbish at normal motorsport, but if it involves just being a bit of a tit. Well, in this. I I'd agree with that, and also on the trophy that you and I won. Yeah. Um, but did you did. win it? Did you win it? <laughs> you haven't mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah we won. Well, we won. Sorry, we were still coming in. Motorsport <laughs> world champion. 
And I think that, that, that covers all motorsport. Because of this victory, Rory and I are now world champions. Of so all motorsports. Of all motorsports. Yes, and yes. some water sports. Obviously, Lewis Hamilton sort of you know, grew up around here and everything. I, I like to imagine him cutting his teeth on these now. Not carts. Yeah. This is yeah. where I like to think. He's gone all the way from these to a five time Formula One world champion. I don't think he can do this anymore. Like, he's now too focused on like <laughs> proper speed. <laughs> this would just throw him completely off. Rory it, would just blow him out of the water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, world motorsports. Lewis, motor, motor Lewis if you're listening, <laughs> Rory is calling you out. And I heard him say really bad Bring things. Bring it! <laughs> Back to Stevenage. I'd quite like to buy one of these now because you think about it, it does like 85 for the gallon, nobody's right. gonna nick it, no tax, classic insurance, and you can like deliver pizzas and stuff at the weekend as well, I don't know if you <laughs> That's could. how I'd love to spend my spare time. That's my kind of, and, it's, and its face is held on with tape. The guy that designed this is called Ed Desconi, I think his name was, and he was a frustrated helicopter designer. He always wanted to design a helicopter, design well, the original Vespa. quite a long way short, I'd <laughs> like and, to say. Yeah, but the cabin is a bit like Bobble and helicopter -y, and yeah. I like to think that's the closest he ever got. So well, basically we've been, you know, on helicopters. It's between a helicopter and a, and a, and a pizza delivery God, I'm mode. I'm glad he did that instead of a helicopter. People would have died. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> many deaths. The cool thing with this is you've got to learn a whole new discipline very quickly in front of your peers. That was a lot. I'd recommend this to anybody because it's absolutely stupid and huge fun. I was a bit worried whether or not everyone would turn up and just turn their nose up. I think we actually had a pretty good time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. All, all things considered. It's difficult to see all you little people from up here on the top Oh, the, the little top people. Step. Yes. But it was very wonderful. Thank you very much. It was awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, well, my pleasure. Again. If you have any suggestions for any uh, alternate motorsports that you think the bunch of us could have a good time at, please and leave Rory us a comment. And Rory could win with Alex. Yep. Shut up. These two are not invited next time. They're going to be um, marshals. Something That'll with more you. wheels might be a better idea. Four or more wheels. Six? Seven? seven? seven if seven you can find the seven wheel motorsport, then let us know in the comments. But for now, from here, it's from us. It goes goodbye. That was eloquent. Yeah. That's how a loser would say it. Yeah. <coughs> goodbye. Bye. Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs>